How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, today I'm going to talk about the beasts and the royal hand. In these last days, my royal family, we see that the beast is projecting fear. If you look throughout history, the beasts always need a crutch. And now we're out of our captivity and many, many things are out of hand. And so the beast is not progressive enough to contain us. So they continue to do the same repetitive shit. Fear monger, fear monger. And for many years, we have tried everything possible to be peaceful with the beast and the beast has displayed every millisecond how they really truly feel about the royal family and they walk around with this arrogance like they have their shit together oh no they don't at all now we know that the the beasts don't ever want to be held accountable for anything. And what we are watching, my royal family, this goes back to Brick Brother, because the beast is on the world stage. And folks is looking at them like, wow, the land of milk and honey is having that type of problem? Oh yes, all these things were foretold. And many of the beasts and their supporters know about this, but they have, or what they're trying to do is an illusion, like that ain't happening. But you won't even take responsibility for eating your own. So what else do you have to display? The wheat get eaten. And that's what we're watching. The plagues are here to stay. They are here to stay. Now just think about it, my royal family. The weak part. The weak part and what they're getting tired of because of Big Brother, and we are seeing our kings and queens and royals be subjugated every millisecond, and they want to have an explanation for it. See, that weakens them, that eats within them, because they feel like they don't have to answer to anyone. They have the type of arrogance, my royal family, that they think that they can stand toe to toe with Yahweh and say, okay, yeah, I messed up a little bit, but I wanna negotiate my punishment. Oh no, you're not gonna do that. What's gonna continue to happen is they're gonna have to answer to us. Now, they're gonna continue to do what they do, but it's a psychological effect on them like, damn, I have to come out here on this world stage and all of us with our eyes can see what they have done to us and they want to lie to us and say, no, it happened this way opposed to that way. Trust and believe they are being affected and it's eating them within. Can you imagine behind closed doors the battles that they are having? You know, the sheer embarrassment when a true nature is displayed on the world stage? is eating them. Oh, and I so, so love it. Oh yes, I love it. I love how um, when they show all these 
um, videos off and on. And remember when I was saying the ultimate goal of the enemy when they get caught red handed is finding a way out. We are literally watching them at war with each other because there has been cops that was at the state capitol that got the dog shit shit bit out of them you know and they trying to come up with every excuse you know i was even thinking back um thinking back we see it was about three years ago and a lot of us was reporting videos where literally white girls and the youngest one i found was nine months old literally being raped or let's go over here or, you know, the wheat get eaten, they eating up their own, and they won't hold they self even accountable for raping each other. And we have to be very careful how we exchange our energy with them. The best thing to do so you don't get eaten is to pull back. I keep saying this over and over and over. And the more that we pull back, the more that the enemy will continue to project fear. See, they are so blatant with it now. You know, I mean, you see in ridiculous stuff like in the state of Arizona where they keep counting and counting and counting and counting and they are in disbelief that it is not working in their favor. It weakens them. Ain't it juicy, my royal family? When you see the enemy in that state, you trying to make it the way you want to make it. And they're not understanding that we are in a different space and time. They don't fully understand that they are going in. They are going in captivity. You know, and this Rona has really on the world stage show you how the enemy can't take care of shit. And it's eating on them because it's in the back. This has always been on their they conscious. You know what's always been on their conscious is um, one day all of us rising up and whooping their ass. They fear these nigger moments. Oh, and this also with the enemy supporters too. You know, old Tim Scott is really out there displaying his coonism. So what else bag of tricks, Esau, that you have? What else can you project to the royal family? You know, while you continue to project fear, you still not taking care of your immediate situation. And the creator is going to bring you all the way down to your knees where you will literally be begging, please take me out. Please take this pain in. I cannot take, I cannot take it anymore. Well, see, when they are projecting fears, they are really speaking about thyself, you know? And when we separate and really look at it like everybody else is looking at it, you don't always have to necessarily react to it. But see, another thing that the beasts fear is we being true to our nature and we start reacting to ancestral pain. We feel it all through the black community, all in our individual families, and just your being yourself. Project the fear back and sit back and watch the enemy. The weak get eaten. They doing it to their damn self. We ain't had to throw no arsenal out whatsoever, whatsoever. And like I said, it doesn't take the collective, but if enough of us is doing what we are supposed to do with our energy, this is what we create, my royal family. You see the energy in the divine hand? That is the embodiment of the royal family. They don't want us to love on ourselves. They want us to do what they're doing. You know, it's like, they're trying to do some type of recruitment because that's all they know. They don't know what else to do. And see, this was we, this this was taken from us. And then there's own there's responsibilities that we need to take about exchanging this energy with the beast. 
because we are strong when we unite our energy our energy and they fear it you are beautiful you are divine and like the other day i said the very people the very people that i am speaking to right now are sacred be sacred with your in energy we are a peculiar group of people we don't supposed to blend in at all we have to reserve that energy for thyself we come from a royal priesthood i often say we come from royal stock and they know it oh yeah many many know it but to play like nothing is happening in the universe oh it's happening and you can't stop it whatsoever and what is making the inner the enemy even more fe fearful is we're speaking up and speaking back and they have said that our royals are mean the royals are not taking this and we need to make sure that we guide them and listen to them because they are going to lead us ain't it beautiful to separate and to really look at this for what it is and have these internal conversations with self and say, wow, I'm chosen. Wow, I gave up so much of myself trying to display just peace. They want no peace. They don't even want no damn peace with themselves. This is how they get down. You know, and then instantly they begging for pardons and forgivings and all of these type of things are, you know, the ones that and got locked up get even more bolder and arrogant and said, well, I need a special diet and why I'm in here and all these different things. Yeah, it's really fucking with their psyche. And I love that they are warring with each other. Rona ain't went nowhere. You don't even respect Rona. Rona is about that life. Rona is out there on them streets biting a hole in your ass. And why Rona is biting a hole in your ass? You're getting weak. You're getting weak. You're making it too easy, Esau. You're making it real easy on the royal family. You know? That's all we had to do was just pull back, but always be observant. Always, you know, when they, when, 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 when you get, see, you remember when I was talking about opportunities? I said, when the enemy get an opportunity to project whatever they want to project, they're very unforgiven about it because they know what they're doing. Well, we get opportunities too. And many of us, because we are peaceful people, try to display peace. No, 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 no. What you do is, you know, you stay to thyself. You don't let them read your energy at all but once they step to you in a negative fashion you be very unforgiving how you deal with them you don't hold back at all you follow through a thousand percent and then once you're done you go going about your life oh yeah it will affect their psyche i have done it many have done it but we need more in the royal family to display their true nature of all these things that they have subjugated us to like Winnie Mandela said do you really want to wake us wake us up do you really want us to project how we really feel to our core we even feel our ancestors screaming out they have not gotten justice yet but Yahweh keeps his word and vengeance is mine, pretty much what he said, you know? So, let's go back here. It's all fine and dandy to be loving and peaceful, but the way that the creator made us up, be true to your nature. It's not a sin to display anger, not at all. You know, just keep in mind, as we see them war within their self, we are in a war. And it is dangerous, my royal family, to toy around with the beast. It is very dangerous. 
You know, when you feel that sense of fear, that is a gift that our father gave, gave us. Honor that. That don't mean you a punk. Because you hear the pigs say, well, their ultimate goal is to get back home with their family. Well, that's our ultimate goal, too. But if you come up in our rim, you're going to get the full brunt, the full brunt of what you have project. Be very unpredictable. See, they study us. Well, they didn't realize they were being studied, too. And we are in this space and we are in this time and they are in utter shock. What can I do to rectify this? Yeah, the beast and the royal hand. You don't get the royal hand no more. You don't get to take this energy no more. No, 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 no. That is reserved exclusively for the royal family. My royal family, I know I repeat myself a lot. I have said it over and over again. We didn't lose total power. We were punished for being disobedient. And now it's all about reclaiming and regaining our throne. And it is enough room for all of us. All of us. This is what this is all about. Because they naturally know. And I think, I, yeah, I did say that the other day when I did the hangout. I said that, I've often said, lay your swords down. Let's start even. Start even with, you know, just with the kings. Just lay your shit down. You know, an even playing field. Mm-mm. They can't do it. They can't do it. They have used our royal hand as that crutch. You know, you... I mean, we was out there in the South, you know, planting and picking cotton in utter heat and everything. Cotton was king, but they couldn't have did it without the royal hand, my royal family. It's very crucial that we be more observant. Like I often say, pray, meditate, listen to the universe. And... The energy that we have been using to display um, fairness and kindness with the enemy, reserve that for your own. Love on each other. Start collectively with the people in your household. And then that, that's, that's that energy. And then even as we go out about our day, focus just on our own. And there is many of our own that are deeply, deeply wounded. We need to bring and chain link our rims together so we can heal. And I often say, heal in the war and heal in the chaos. So, as I close out, the wheat get eaten. I'm telling you, that's some juicy stuff. I mean, when I, I mean, every single day you hear something about the enemy and also their supporters just doing foul shit. I mean, they embarrassing themselves. They just eating up themselves because that is a fear. Because they want to maintain, like what, uh, and, and I don't I don't steal talking points, but I remember a few years ago, KD had did this video called, um, it was something along the line about um, eating the crumbs off of Lucifer's plate. And I was like, woo, woo. That's them little trinkets and them little bling blings you get, you know, while you sitting up there allowing them to buck, buck break your ass or bed wrench and all those things that you do. You, you, you getting eaten too and you getting weakened too with all of that stuff. So them little trinkets and all that stuff and you feel like you are elite and then you see them being true to their damn nature and then you don't want to talk about the realism because since you are eating those crumbs and if you speak truth you ass out but on the real i'm talking about them supporters you were ass out the day you started thinking thinking you hadn't even executed any of your bullshit that you keep projecting to the royal family you were dead on 
a rival because the enemy look at you as a traitor to your own people dead on arrival and you all propped up with your pompous ass shaking your finger at the royal family like you know look what i have achieved you ain't achieved shit one thing that i know about the enemy and we will see more of this in the now as they continue to lose out and they seeing these coons around them oh yeah they're gonna they, they're gonna be put on the world stage and Esau going to be unforgiving because no telling what kind of promises these coons did made behind the scenes. Esau got a lot of shit to deal with henceforth. And it is best believed to get yourself out of the equation, my royal family. I'm not telling the people that are um, like-minded like us. I ain't telling you something you already know. I'm just reinforcing. That's all I'm doing. So what I need you to do is render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And it's always my royal family. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, Ashe.